Hello, my friends. <clears throat> it's Nancy Bastine, and today <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat again because I haven't talked to anybody this morning or haven't been on the phone or anything to clear my voice out from sleeping. I'm going to put on my lip balm, you know, that's the routine here. Um, what we're going to do today, you see this little Gemini? And I cannot figure out why my camera is making this look backwards. Because I think I'm backwards. I'm not sure. Hang on. I'm going to pause you and turn the camera a little bit. I just don't know why this camera, I keep fooling around with it and fooling around with it and I just need to leave things alone, but I don't know why this is reading backwards. I can't figure it out. My hands are right. They're not coming in from this way, so my hands are right. So let's get going. We're going to use this little Gemini today that I just received in the mail a couple of days ago and I've been practicing with my little dies from um, AliExpress. Now, the bigger dies won't work in here. You have to have a piece of paper that measures, uh, oh, and I'm going to put all of my dies in this folder here so they don't get messed up, they don't get ruined. I thought I'd show you those. Um, the bigger ones, like these won't work in here. Yeah, I have to get out my bigger um, Gemini or my hand crank one. And my hand crank one's downstairs. And my big Gemini is packed away in its box. I mean, I guess I could get it out to test these dies. But um, anyway, so anyway, let's get on with it. All right, so I've already done these two, and um, I'm going to try and keep them in their little plastic things, and I have a bunch of paper here that I've cut, and I've got my nippers out because some of these I think are going to have to be cut apart. And I'm going to set the ones over here that I've used. Now these are some little, I don't think, these are some I got <clears throat> quite a while ago. <clears throat> these are little puzzle pieces. And I thought they were going to be bigger than this when I ordered them. And, um, you know, I don't know how to, where the opening is here. But we'll do a couple of these just to see how they cut. I guess I should have got these all out of their plastic. I have some extra plastic cases. I think I'll just put them in back in that. So here we go. We're gonna we got our sandwich here. I got my bottom plate, my plastic plate, my metal shim, my um, magnetic shim, and we'll put these on here like this. I like this little magnetic shim, but it gets a little um, let's see if I can use if these pieces are no, they're not quite wide enough. Darn it. So I will use this piece of paper that <clears throat> probably won't fit in there because it's oh you know problems 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 when you start a video it never turns out the way you want it to turn out and I don't know why I'm getting a dings on my computer but I am so let's see what which side do I want uh, I think this side <laughs> So, this is some cardstock that I, or mixed media paper that I painted a lot, or sprayed a long time ago, sprays. And I'm starting to use it up. Okay, this is going to be a little bit noisy. 
and a little slow. cut very good. I don't see them through the paper, so I'm wondering if they, oh yeah, they did. Oh yeah, they're stuck to the paper. Let's see what these look like. And I'm putting my paper over in a little basket over there, and I'm going to need my my little pokey thing here to get these out of the little holes. They're tiny. Oh, they're teeny tiny. Look how teeny, teeny, tiny those juggle pieces are. But they'll be fun to use on an ATC or one of the trading coins, the round ones. Look how cute. They're really kind of cute. Now, I got a puzzle silicone mold. It, it's puzzle pieces. And um, they are really deep and really large. And I haven't used them for um, clay because I think I don't know, probably I wouldn't have to fill them up that full. Okay, here we go. Here's our puzzle pieces. I'm gonna set those over there. Set these over here. Okay, now I have this old fashioned bicycle. Isn't that cute? And I think, yeah, it'll fit in there. And I'm not sure I got some black cardstock here because I wanted to make um, silhouettes. A silhouette, silhouette. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to put that on here. You can't see because I'm over there. I'm going to put that on there. And this is dotted. This is. Uh, Basil dotted cardstock, and I have hardly used any of it. And I think it's probably about a hundred and five years old. And that piece is not wide enough for that. And so I'm going to have to put it. There should be a wide enough piece because I cut these all at. There we go. Cut them all at three and a quarter, except for the ones that were left over. Okay, here we go again. I bought this, I bought the bigger one because um, it was really hurting my hand to crank the other one. I've got tendonitis in my thumb. Even now, it, it's hurting. It's not carpal tunnel, it's tendonitis in my thumb and in my wrist right here and uh, it's not it's some days it's just not happy it's just and today is one of those days because i've been fooling around twisting the camera and the boom arm yeah this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun getting this out of here. All these little spokes. Hmm. When I get moved back to Utah, and I get settled in. I was watching um, a lady 
I always forget to forget to write their names down so I can give them credit. Anyway, if I find her and link her video down on the below. But she made out of bottle caps a um isn't that cute? That's really cute. That turned out really cute. I like it. Don't you like it? That turned out really nice. Uh, she made a wind chime out of a, a bottle caps. And she used paper clips to wire them all together. And then what she um, strung it on was a old tire bicycle tire rim so when i get moved out to utah i'm gonna see if i can find me an old bicycle tire rim and um yeah and see if i can make one that'll be fun it takes a long time, she said, and I'm sure it does, but I don't think, I, I don't know. I think I'll use wire. I don't think I'll use paper clip. But evidently, she didn't have wire, so she used paper clips for her wire. Okay, I'm going to do this lady in, I think, this green, teal green. She's a lady that's walking her little poodle. Early Apudo. These are older. These I didn't just get. These have been, I've had these for maybe 50 years, maybe 25, maybe not, maybe seven. Oh. I wonder what happened there. Why it won't go in. Maybe because uh, the thing is trying to get bowed. Let me try this one. Maybe it doesn't need all this. There it goes. Sounds terrible, but you've got to have all those shins in there for it to, for it to cut through. birdies all these little birdies I got that one and I do believe I think I might have a stamp that goes with those and I have all these little birdies I think I have a stamp that goes with these but I'm not sure you're supposed to cut the in these apart when you cut them out I'm sure you're going to have to because they won't fit in my die cutter if I cut them all at once. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. She's pretty intricate. Oh, yes, she is. I got to poke some poker holes. That's her hand. I guess that's all. So there she is. Walking her little poodle. See, and I'm trying to get these all cut out for when I um, decide to use them on something. Then it'll probably be the wrong color. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to... Actually, I just wanted to come on and do something with you guys. That's actually what I wanted to do. Actually because I haven't been on here for a while and I'm going to tap this in the garbage can get those little pieces off of it and my already my uh, plate is starting to warp but I was going to cut these birdies all out at once um But I'm not 
sure. Let's see if I have another bird. No. And I'm not sure what to do with this dragonfly because I don't. Is this the shadows? Is this a shadow with the dragonfly? This must be the shadow. Somehow or another, there must be a a uh, a stamp that goes with this that I don't have. Well, there's the body. There's a bee. There's the um shadow for the dragonfly so evidently you have to cut these all apart I have like I said I have envelopes to put all these in so I don't lose all the parts I have these kind of envelopes these kind of envelopes. I don't have any more of the magnetic sheets, but I have the envelopes. So now I guess I'm supposed to clip them apart if I wanted to use the shadow. And I have my nippers here. Ooh, that's tough to do. My little wire nippers here. Hmm. Wow, that's tough. See, maybe you're just supposed to break them apart. Well, I'm just going to do the little dragonfly itself. And I want to get these off, but I'm afraid they're going to fly. Oh, well, they're on there to stay. Let's see. Let's put, ooh, let's do him in some bright color. Some oranges, yellows, a green, this red. Let's see if that red, that red is white enough for sure. Now make sure I want to make sure of my my um paper is on the right side there's a right and a wrong side and when you're cutting dies you want to make sure you put the right side down because that's how it's going to emboss it and um, make it nice okay let's see what this dragonfly is going to look like I'm just going to put these pieces together in this envelope here. And he's going to have a lot of pieces that I'm going to have to poke out. Yep. And he's stuck in there. A lot of times you can do that and get them all out. This has got a lot of pieces. I didn't want to. I was going to try and see if I could get it out of the die and show you and then poke the pieces out at another time. 
Let's see if I can get it started. Sometimes they really, really stick into these dies. And that's when they get torn. Torn. Sometimes I think there's too much shim in my when they get stuck like this. So I'll show you. Oh man, it's really stuck in there. Okay, it's loosening up. All right. And there is the dragonfly. I think when you cut out, uh, where's the piece? When you cut out this piece, it puts a shadow around it. See like that? And I might do that, but not right now. I'm not going to do that right now because we got a lot of work to do here. And I will just leave that to poke those out later because y'all don't need to see, sit here and watch me poke out holes. All right, let's see. I have this girl and this. And I don't hope these will fit on there. I am not sure if you're supposed to cut them apart or if you're supposed to leave them all together because it looks like these are supposed to be all together. And I have this, um, is this a koi fish or some kind of fish? And I wanted to cut him out of, I got some bright orange colors here. I wanted to cut him out of a bright, bright orange. Have that color and that color. Which one? I think this one. So, see if I have my right side. This one doesn't have a right and a wrong side that I can tell, so we'll just put it on there. And see how it works. See how it goes. I highly recommend if you're gonna do a lot of die cutting, and you have sore hands that you get an electric die cutter. Now, I don't know how long they're going to last. Um, if you do a lot of cutting, okay, so stop. You know, like I'm doing a, a lot of cutting today because I... I wanted to do it with you all plus I um, need to get I wanted to test all these dies and make sure that they're all going to be working not that I'd do anything about it send them back or anything I don't know what I'd do if they're not working Let's see if we can get this fish out I think it's going to be pretty I bought a whole bunch of dye or stamps. I guess I'm gonna do a fish page in a journal or something. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start a journal this winter and start doing journal pages.
plus I'm going to still do my glue book and you know but I want to do a journal I have several journals downstairs that the Diane Reevely journals I have several of those that are brand new that I've never used okay fishy fishy let's get out of here without tearing Now, sometimes people have told me to um, now see that didn't cut very good there's places in there where that didn't cut now I'm gonna have to use my exacto knife because I don't want to tear them out but in that birdie that's a party fish that's a party party fish which way is right and which way is wrong I don't know which way does he swim that way I guess whichever way I want him to okay yeah sometimes if you tap them a little bit these little pieces will come out you don't have to work so hard at them I'm gonna have little pieces of this stuff everywhere that's all right I'll get the vacuum out okay let's try these um, butterflies and see let's see if this is long enough and wide enough now I know that I cut them wide enough that must have been an end piece that's an end piece okay we'll have some pretty yellow butterflies and my plate is really getting warped Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Now those pieces come out. I'm not saving them. They go in the garbage. And let's see if we can get these butterflies out of here. Remember, I have cut these out before in the big Gemini, I do believe, or maybe my hand crank one. And I never could figure out how you're supposed to use them. If anybody knows, let me know. I guess they go on the front of the card, like all in one, one piece. I can hardly wait to get moved. I keep saying that, and you know what? April's going to creep up on me real soon. And I'm not going to have anything done. But I got to get... Um, I got my living room furniture sold to my sister-in-law. And I got my TV sold my friend and I just got to sell my washer and dryer and my dining room table and the rest of it I guess I'm taking with me the two beds uh, upstairs and the 
dresser. It's a big dresser with a mirror on it. And two small. I really don't want the one uh, Chester drawers, so I think I'm going to give it away or sell it or something. Okay, now I can't get them out. All right, let's see if that'll work. Yeah, that's going to work. I have wax paper down here, so somebody told me if I used wax paper to cut, whoa, to cut these out that um, I could get them out of the um, dies better. And I got a mess here all over my, oh well. Oh well, this is a messy job. Let me get the butterflies. Let's show you how pretty they are. I guess you can cut them apart or you can leave them like they are. I might just cut them apart. I'm probably gonna cut them apart and use them differently. Okay. Oh my goodness, there's Prime coming across the street. wonder if I'm going to get anything from the Prime to make the dogs bark. Always, always when I'm making a video. Always, never fails. Okay, let's do this lady. Let's get on with it. Let's do her in this pretty... Um, I got this white, I think it is, um, watercolor paper. It's real heavy. And I wanted to see if this die cutting machine would, would cut it. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut her out of this pink. Turn the paper over. Turn my plates back around this way. They keep telling you to rotate them so they don't bow. And we'll see how this goes. never been cut out before. She came right out of the dye. Isn't that nice? Oh, how pretty she is. I could cut her out of a black for a silhouette also. She's really pretty. She's got a hole in her head that needs to come out. You know, some people have holes in their heads. She has one. I didn't cut very good, so. Yeah, that's pretty. Her and her pair sell. I like that. That's pretty. Let me tap this die. If not, I'll just set it over there and do it. All of it didn't come out, so I'll just set it over there and work on them after I'm done here. No need for y'all to have to see me do that. Let's get on with the, let's get on with the movie here. Let's get on with the show. Let's do these little birdies. And, um, I don't think I'm going to do these that are all hooked together right now. I'm going to unhook them and um, 
So that's that's gonna cut our these are birds too. Well, let's see if I can get these undone real quick. Because I'd like to cut out all the birds. got insides. They got guts. I don't know what these insides are. Never mind. I'll have to figure that out a different time. Let's do these birdies. These little birdies. I love birds. I really love birds. I love fairies. All right, let's do these on a, what color? Let's do them on this. Color orange. Boy, I'm going to have to get the vacuum cleaner in here. I like this magnet because they stick on there and they don't slide around. Let's see. Paper. And a plate. That really does help your plates if you put, if you, because see, it's not as bowed now when you flip them over. That's what the book said to do. good stencil. That make a cute stencil. <clears throat> and this little heart. See this little heart? It came out of this little bird's tummy. See that? Came right out of its tummy. How cute is that? And let's see about this one. Oh, those things just flew right out. Somebody told me to do that. And it wouldn't hurt your dyes, so I believed them. And I tried it, and it doesn't hurt your dyes. Oh, look at that little birdie. That little birdie. They're so cute. Okay, we got the birds cut out. Now let's try, we got a fairy here. And I wanna silhouette her. She's blowing uh, bubbles. Bubbles, I think, she's blowing bubbles. She goes like that, but she's going to have to go on here like that. And I'm going to silhouette her, so I'm going to do her in black.
here we go. Oh, shut off. Here's the paper. Let's see if I can get her off of here. Get her out of the dye. I have been um, doing a lot of coloring and I have really decided that I have finally love my Prisma colored pencils and I have been coloring these uh, people ladies because I've been watching a lot of oh this is so so intricate it all been watching a lot of my fairy treasures Angie and I downloaded some of her her dolls that she look how pretty that is that she um, draws and colors and puts in her um, journals and stuff that she makes but I found well I, I didn't find them I went downstairs and got them that I had some stamps of ladies faces and so I stamped them out and colored them or I stamped them out and I, um, oh, what am I trying to say? This is a um, perfume bottle. And I'm just going to cut it out of this orange. And um, I've been um, using them and and trying my pencils out and learning the different shades and everything and I'm loving it I'm, I'm just really learning a lot by doing that and learning how to do face shades and I've learned a lot from my fairy treasures I've learned a lot by watching her and how she colors her Oh, that didn't cut out very good. That didn't cut out at all. Hmm. Not what I wanted. Um, she, I've just learned a lot from watching her color her her girl's faces in and how she shades them and you know some people you can learn from and I think I could learn from everybody that paints you just have to be in okay I'm just gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna have to cut that with my exacto knife and I'm wondering why it didn't cut out all the little holes in here because it was supposed to cut out all those little holes. Hmm. I'll have to try that one again. On a, well, maybe not because there's not any, um, there's not any cutting things. Anyway. So, um, 
I've been learning a lot, and I think it's because you have to be in the right frame of mind to learn, to accept the learning curve of something. And um, anyway, I got a feather here. I'm going to cut this feather out. And I've just learned a lot from her, and I have taken that and applied it to these, and I've had these, these lady faces for 110 years, and I tried to use them at one time, and I... I, I couldn't get the grasp of it, and so I got, instead of doing what I'm doing now and, and um, copying them, so I have, and saving, saving the copy of the ones I stamped so that I can just print them out again. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, but anyway, we're going to cut this feather out of this yellow. That's what Reed's going to do. That's what Reed's going to do out of this yellow. And now that I have learned that, I can just toss them and, you know, get another piece of paper and copy them out again and try them again and I'm not having you know and it's really helping me a lot to do it that way so that at night I can well you know and it's better for me to um to learn the shades of, of the faces and everything um during the daylight hour well look at that feather that's a pretty cool feather. It surely is a cool feather. So yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it because um, yeah, I'm learning a lot. And I think I'm a little more um, mature about it now. Before I, I just wanted it done and over with and I forgot to cut out that little birdie but it's okay because it has guts in it. And I'm just gonna set these aside and work on them another time when I'm not on camera. And we'll do these last few that I have. And we've been on here 47 minutes already. And this is a Tim Holtz that I just bought. And um, because it was on sale. I got it for $15 instead of $20. Um, so I bought it because I wanted all of these different plants and leaves and yada yada stuff like that. So I especially wanted this one. And this one I'm going to try and cut out of this heavy duty white cardstock or whatever it is. If it's, um, I don't know what it is. I, it wasn't in, uh, it wasn't in a book. It was just loose. And I, I thought it, was cardstock, but evidently, then I looked at it again, and I thought, well, maybe it's watercolor paper. So, anyway, I'm going to use it and cut this one out because it looks like a Queen's Anne lace, and Queen's Anne lace is white. So, I'm going to try it with that and see how it works. And it seems like it's cutting it pretty good. I don't know, it might be lagging a little bit. If I get louder and softer, it's because I'm getting closer to the camera and adjusting my chair. And 
Alright, let's see. Shut off. Oh, man. Well, it had a hard time cutting out. I can tell. And there's little... Okay, okay, okay. But why didn't it cut out the little holes? I guess it's not supposed to. I guess that's how you're supposed to get it out of the um, die. But these little things are supposed to come out. And yes, it looks like Queens and Lace. I'm going to miss that when I go back to Utah because they don't have it in Utah. It's a wild thing that grows here in Cincinnati, and I think it's because of the humidity that it grows. We just have sagebrush in Utah, wild sagebrush. And when I should have brought a stem of it home to my sister-in-law because she, I took pictures of it, but she keeps thinking it, you can eat it. And I'm like, no. It's not the kind that you cook with, and it's a, it's, it's not an herb. It's just something that grows in the desert. In the desert, <laughs> I can't convince her. So when I move out there, I'll send her a. Now I didn't cut any green out for these leaves. And, oh well, I'll have to wait and cut those out some other time. Well, I could cut them out with this white and, um, and paint it. I could do that, couldn't I? I could do that. And I'll put it this way. See how many I can get out of this piece of white. I don't have any more of it. But I gotta have, I gotta have that piece there. I don't know if I can get this one. We're, we're puzzled, we're, we're puzzle piece in here. I don't know if I can get that one. out of this piece of cardstock. I bet you I can and I'll cut this off here. Yep, just like that. And I will run it through and we will see and then I can paint this. Yeah, I can do that. This came out. That seems like it worked. It did. It did. It did. I gotta poke all these little things out, but I'll do that off camera. Let's see this one. See if it'll come out of the die. I can paint them. Yes, that's what I can do. I can paint them. Cool, beans. But I don't have another piece of that paper. I don't know what I did with the other part of it. So, these are going to go back into this Tim Holtz thing. And I don't know what to cut these out of. 
kind of have a piece of light green paper here, cardstock. I guess I could try and use that. And we could see how it works. That's a stick anyway. Okay. All right, it looks like that's gonna work. I'm liking this little Gemini. I wish it would be the right direction. Even when I turned it, it's still backwards. I don't know. When I put these, like these stickers or things, they're backwards. They have to go, and they're backwards that way. And they're backwards that way. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. I don't know how to fix that. And maybe I'm not going to. All right, we got some green leaves. Look at that. That looks cool. Looks all right. And let's see what we got here. We got to get it out of the die is what we got to do. Let's see. It loosened up enough that I can get it out. Yep. Well, that's a pretty cool die that I got from Tim Holtz. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. That goes in there. And I was going to show you. It is. This is it. It's the Shinlets. Tim Holtz. Sizzix. It's backwards that way, too. And the number on it, if you want to know, is 664163. Okay, I did my duty. I did my duty. All right, we have some bubbles here. Bubbles. Bubbles. Why I bought bubbles, I don't know. Bubbles and circles, whatever you want to call them. I bought that and I bought this one. Don't ask me why. It's just going to be on a page. Maybe I bought them for a. to be a uh, stencil or something. I don't know. I can't seem to get this open. Let's just cut it. Don't fool with it. Let's just get it open. Get it done, Nancy. Get her done. Okay. We're going to do this together if we can. Together again. If we can fit them on there, yes. We're going to do them in... Which are we going to do them in? Maybe this yellow. Don't fall out, little bubbles. Don't fall out. Be nice. Don't overlap either. Be nice. Be nice, Bubbles. Gotta get this video done. That, that's not gonna work. It's gonna be right, right on the very edge. All right, let's see if that'll work. Right, I'm 
that's, I think that's all I'm going to do because this video is getting up pretty long and I'm getting tired. And let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, look. Oh, that is just really cool. I'm gonna have to cut a few of these out. Yeah, let's see what this one looks like. And I don't think it cut out very good on the end there. No. I'm going to have to do this one again on a different piece of paper if I can get it out. But anyway, guys, thanks for coming and joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed watching me cut my dies out. Now, hopefully, I can... Uh, on that tour. I can't get this out. There. It tore because I shouldn't have done that together. But anyway, thanks for, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And uh, hopefully I'll get back and we can do some stuff with these dies together. If not, they'll just be sitting in that I can't get this out. I'll be sitting in that thing. In that. Oh my gosh. I think this one needed a piece of wax paper on it. It didn't cut out at all. And this one's going to get a piece of wax paper. But anyway, um, Please leave me, uh, and thank you for the comments, and um, if you would like to support this channel, I do have a tip jar, if you'd like to um, go look at that, and um, yeah, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I would appreciate it if you'd like to do that. Um, it just helps me with YouTube so they know that you like my my um, channel and my content and I will talk to you all again soon on another video that I want to do pretty soon like in an hour or so okay thanks guys See you later. Come on. Mousy work. Bye-bye.